Hello, I'm Nancy Strickland and in this video I'll show you how to use the TCO ROI calculator that Microsoft provides to help you analyze the financial aspects of moving to a cloud platform. There are several reasons for moving to the cloud including scalability and reliability and high availability for example, but another important reason that's often mentioned is that moving to the cloud can save money for an enterprise. But of course whether you can save money and how much can vary from one situation to another. To estimate how much the cloud is likely to save you, you'll need to do some calculations for your specific situation, the particular application or service that you're considering placing in the cloud. Microsoft provides a web-based tool that you can use to help. It's called the Windows Azure TCO, Total Cost of Ownership, and ROI, Return on Investment, Calculator. Here's the link to it. And you click here to launch it. And this is what you see when you open it in a browser. On the first page, you'll be asked a little about your organization, and you'll be asked for information about the particular application or service that you're considering creating for or moving to Windows Azure. You'll run the calculator for each application or service individually. You select from choices on a drop-down list to answer the questions, and there's a little icon here so you can get more information about any of the questions if you need it. Then when you're finished entering information, you'll reach the bottom of the screen here where you can click Next and the tool will perform the analysis. Here's what the results look like. On the first tab here, you can see how much platform usage the tool has determined that you're probably going to need and it's estimated the cost of that broken down by the various parts of the platform and the projected bandwidth use. You can scroll down and see a total here at the bottom. You can make changes to any of these usage assumptions and then the tool will recalculate your estimated costs. The data I entered here for this demo was for an e-shopping application, so I described it as an application with spiky usage, usage that would be expected to vary a lot at certain times. So now I'll need to click right here to fill in more information. I can fill in the spikiness that I expect and I could also change any of the other assumptions that I can see here to show my own expectations about changes and growth over the 12 month period that I selected. I could do this whether or not my application was spiky. Either way, after I close this screen, I can go on to this next tab here to get cost estimates for the total cost, including one-time setup costs for migration. This also includes administration and support costs, so that gives you a TCO, a total cost of ownership, that's estimated over a range of years that you get to specify. You can click on this chart to get a larger view, with a legend, of how your total cost of ownership breaks down by charges for the various elements of the Azure platform that you use, such as storage and compute, and by bandwidth usage, and administrative and support costs, and then finally, the one-time expenses that are associated with setting up your application for the first time. And then the last tab is your ROI, Return on Investment. It shows the total costs and how long in months you can expect it to take for Azure to recoup your initial investment by saving you money as compared to an on-premises solution. To do that, the calculator has to make some assumptions about what the costs of an on-premises application would be. Clicking here will let you see what those assumptions are and let you change them if they're not accurate. And then back on the main ROI tab, you can see that there are charts here too that you can also click on to enlarge. You may find that for a particular application, Azure is extremely cost effective, but in another case, you might choose to keep an application on premises. That's the purpose of this tool, to give you the information to make your own choices. When you're finished, you can create a printable report or a report to email. You can also collaborate with others so that two or more people can work with the same calculations. Using any of those options requires registration. It's free, of course, and you have to provide an email, which is where you'll be sent a password. That password lets you create reports and save your analyses and also collaborate with others. Clicking on the Report button here gives you the option to register. So. 
there's how you can get a quick estimate of TCO and ROI for Windows Azure. Of course, this is a good faith estimate from Microsoft based on information you provide. It's not guaranteed, and it's not intended to replace a full-scale evaluation of your situation by experts. In fact, there's a little disclaimer along those lines that you will have to agree to when you access the calculator. But as a quick start, rough overview, it's a great little tool, and it's absolutely free. You can keep up with what's new on MS Dev on these social networking sites. Here under the Twitter logo is my personal Twitter ID. I use it to announce new videos as they're posted on MS Dev, so you can follow me if you want that information. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.